The moment has come. We're dropping the Shua in the three meter Shua pit. Here we go. Today is our final day in Oman, and we're taking on this country's most legendary culinary tradition, Shua. It's time to hunt. We need to hunt it? It all starts with a Shua pit. This thing is badass. Each year after Ramadan, during the fast-breaking festival of Eid, many families will roast up to 10 of these meaty Shua bundles at a time. So basically we have it every Eid. It's like uh, a must for us. So the first day of Eid, we put in the pit hole. And then uh, the third day of Eid, we take it out. So we leave it there slow cooking for three days. The shua cooks for three days? Exactly, yeah. Today, I'm joining my buddy Ahmed at a local home to see exactly how it's made. I need just a hand, just someone to hold this. Sonny. This place is fully equipped to kick out piles of shua. <laughs> but only if I don't mess it up first. So throw on your dish dasha and join the fun. Today we're taking on traditional Omani cuisine in Muscat. Oh, you can't really take big steps, huh? <laughs> we're headed to the house of Ahmed's longtime friend. Together they run official Oman travels. But today, they're showing me a side of Omani culture that few travelers get to witness. Don't take off my finger, please. <laughs> yeah, let him bite. Mm, it's got close. Are these pet camels? No, they're not pet camels. They're here for racing. And also, one of them is for the beauty show. Well, hold on. I think I can tell which camels are more hot. <laughs> <laughs> what does someone look for in a camel when they're judging its beauty? The dark color and the muscle. So it's not only beauty show, but also it's fitness show. Today, we're not actually here for the camels. Yes. We're here for Shua. It is actually. Shua is very slow cooked lamb. How slow? You're gonna find out. What is the significance of shua in Omani culture? The taste. It gets a smoky taste. Uh -huh. And if we're using sheep, it gets very nice and tender. And we basically eat it with rice. This is homemade shua, prepared the same way it was done since the beginning. So here, we've got a big old fire pit. And you've got like a giant Ninja Turtle sewer lid over here. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> this thing is badass. Is there a special word for this pit besides a lamb's worst nightmare? Tanur. Tanur. Underground oven. The reason we have stones here because the stone keeps the heat. And basically, the heat cooks the meat, not the actual charcoal there. Have you ever messed this up and like burnt 15 lambs? Uh, no, not really. Not 15 lambs. Yeah. Oh, well, you burned some though. <laughs> the pit will start heating up for two hours before it receives any meat. On the menu today, fresh lamb. This house has everything. It's got a shua pit, it has camels, and it has like a little barn over here. Cow section. We're not putting any cow in the shua pit today. It's time to hunt. We need to hunt it? During Eid, the men start the day by selecting the lamb and slaughtering. Oh, wow, all right, he's pretty good at that. It's not his first rodeo. Hold on, the lamb's got a phone call. Oh, is that you? Yeah, that's Oh, okay. <laughs> For the guys here, the time of slaughtering conjures up memories of camaraderie amongst family and friends, more than the act itself. This area is meant for slaughtering? Yeah. Okay. That's why it's slippery now. They cannot move very because of the legs. Oh. So they see? Just slippery. This is a halal slaughter, adhering to the tenets of Islamic tradition. So slaughtering in the halal way, we just uh, face the body to the Mecca. Mm. And uh, we say it's just part of saying in Quran, Bismillah ar-Rahman rahim in the name of God. Okay. And then you start slaughtering. All right. Bismillah. Bismillah. Yalla, Bismillah. The lamb is sectioned into eight pieces. As a bonus, the head and organs will be tossed in too. Oh, these are the lungs, the, the liver. The lungs and liver and the heart. So in order to do that, we need to clean the blood from the heart. Okay, so you just cut the heart yeah. in quarters. Quarters, yeah. And then you're gonna clean it. And there's one way we need to clean the lungs also. Oh, how do you do that? Whoa. <laughs> And then you cut it? For you smokers out there. Every time you smoke a cigarette, that's exactly what's happening to your lungs. <laughs> yeah. 
Yeshua, the name this dish shares throughout Oman. But that's where the agreements end. Each family has their own flavorful take on the dish, and here is no exception. Oh, <laughs> that's incredible. Well, cool sour, yeah. super salty, of course, and then it, like chili is in there, right? Yes, there is chili flakes, and, and you it's can kind see of it. human. It's almost like some kind of spicy sour taco flavor. <laughs> yeah, and it has a lot of uh, garlic. This is going to be incredible. Already, I can tell. This is just one lamb, but keep in mind, during Eid, they might prepare up to ten at one time. Let's just get tons of that on there. That stuff is so good. We add a little bit more salt and give it a little massage. The meat is almost ready for the pit, but first it must be wrapped in a way that allows it to cook without burning. This is a sack made of palm trees leaf, this one. Mm. And it's damp. Yeah, because uh, if you put it there dry, it's gonna burn. Ah. And we have the banana leaves that keeps it from burning also. So you don't use aluminum foil? No, at all. Yes. So we're gonna put the banana leaves first as like a coating. Yeah. And then we put the meat inside. All right, we have all the pieces inside. Man, this is so interesting. It's so much more porous than I expected because the leaves are just kind of loosely on top. You can still see the meat. And this is also not locked. So there's gonna be some air can go in and out. The liquid can go in and out. Shake it, fold it, lock it with wire. And now it's ready for the pit. The moment has come. This is all fiery, hot, and ready. Yes. Do you want me to throw it in? Yeah, we give you the honor to throw it. Man. I'm just gonna whoo, yeah. drop it from here. That's okay. That's okay. Here we go. Five, four, three, two, one. Boom, right in the middle. Good job. Okay, so we're putting on the lid, sand going on top. Look at this, there's like these little plumes of smoke. We want this to be airtight, no air getting yeah. out. Yeah. Do you guys sing a song while you do this? Yeah. Jingle bells, jingle bells. <laughs> <laughs> so that's it. Yeah. We come back 24 hours from now. We're going to dig this up. And then we're going to have our delicious and tasty issue. I can't wait to try this out. Me too. Ice is such a simple word. Hey guys, welcome back to Shua Day 2. We're about to go back to the goat pit and see what's inside. Are you guys ready? You're not yeah. ready. But why not? You gotta get changed, man. Change? Yeah. I don't think anyone would eat Shua like this. Wait, I have an idea. Huh? Dude, Dude, man. What's going on? That's pretty good, right? But are you sure I can wear it as some white guy from the U.S. without being highly controversial and also uh, offensive? This is a traditional Omani dish dasha. Everyone here wears it, and the culture welcomes you to wear it any time. Did you guys hear that in the comments? It's totally fine if I wear it and not offensive. Yes. Cool. Let's go eat some goat. For sure. Yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, I can't get enough. The shua has been in the pit for over 24 hours. It is probably cooked at this point or not. Honestly, I won't know until I dig it up. But if all else fails, we'll still ensure that we at least have some darn good rice to eat. Is rice important in Oman? Extremely important, man. If you don't have rice for lunch, it's like you never had lunch. Add ghee to a fiery cooking vessel, along with cumin seeds, cardamom, cinnamon, cardamom powder, black pepper, and water. <laughs> Add rice and let it cook for about one hour. Now it's finally time to check the shua. Gentlemen, the moment has finally come. It has been literally 24 hours since we visited this spot. There's a lamb within this hole. We're gonna find out if it's just perfectly cooked, soaking, dripping, boiling in its own juices, or if it's raw and the whole thing was a failure. It's gonna fall off the bone. Yeah. You think so? Yeah. Oh my God, I'm getting hungry just thinking about it, but we still got a lot of work to do. There you go. Let's go. All right, I'm really building up a hunger at this point. Still quite warm. Yeah. All right, how do we take this lid off? So slowly, slowly, just make sure you don't drip. Do it. Yeah. yeah. One, two, Sorry. three. Ahmed, come this side. 
All right, don't fall in the wall, okay? Right away, it's just this amazing, like a, a lamb sauna. Yeah. I don't really smell the meat yet, but there's like all this moisture inside mixed with the charcoal, just really smoky, kind of sour flavor inside. And then this is the... Pulse. For grabbing it, right? Yeah. Yeah, why is it so short? No, it's fine. Ugh. I'm not being modest anymore. Don't look at my legs. Dude, this is crazy. Okay. Oh, I got it. Oh, yeah. Here you go, good job. All right, here we go. Oh, my man. It looks incredible. Yeah. Just looking at it now, can you tell if it's done or not? It is done. You can see the meat is dropping. Oh, my God. Wow. Did you want to try? Uh, I do. <laughs> oh, look at this big piece of meat. Okay, I want to share it with you guys, though. So, here, I'll just hand out pieces of lamb. <laughs> is that all right? Yeah. You ready? Let's okay. go for it. Oh, man. That is incredible. Just a deep, rich smokiness. Yeah. No gaminess? None at all. Very clean, warm, soft. And melts also because it's slow cooking. And 24 tender. hours. Yeah. And usually you would keep it in there even longer. If you, even if longer, you, yeah. If you want to keep it warm. Yeah. From here, we're going to take this, we're going to throw it on the rice, and then uh, sit down and eat properly, right? Yes. All right, let's do it. Ahmed, my man. Thank you. Sony. Our final meal here? Absolutely. Uh, you've outdone yourself, sir. Thank you. I don't know why I'm shaking everyone's hand, but it yeah. seems like the right <laughs> formal thing to do on camera. <laughs> <laughs> oh my God, did you see that? It's still kind of pink on the inside, but obviously cooked all the way through. This is like the tenderloin right here. Oh man, are you guys tasting this? Are you considered greedy if you only focus on the meat? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> we'll hit you. <laughs> what is this? Kidney. A little organy livery flavor almost. A little bit like bouncy texture to it. Oh, guys, take a look. These are the ribs. It's coming right off. Mm. I can already feel with my fingers how delicious it is. Yeah. You know what I mean? Let's try it out. Sorry about that. That was fucking amazing. Sorry. Can, is it okay if I swear? <laughs> fruiting amazing would be better. That was fruiting amazing. So enough of these delicious choice cuts of meat. Here we have like all the organs together. We have the lungs, heart, liver. What part is the most delicious unit? I think the liver. Oh yeah. Mm. Super solid, a bit hard. Yeah. I'm gonna try to rip off a piece of that. That's so good. It was good. Gave me a little bit. No. No? No game? Try it was some. good. <laughs> he doesn't want to. <laughs> Bro, you got more game than this lamb, I'll tell you that. Ooh. Yeah. You took it, you had a dot. What do you think? Oh, and it kind of crumbles in your mouth. Yes. It is not gamey at all. What part usually gets left to the end? I would say the head. And the eyes? Yeah. I mean, also there's a tongue. Yeah. Oh my God, I'm gonna rip the tongue out of this lamb skull. Oh, dude, are you proud of me? Yeah. I think there's a bone in there. The other is you gotta take out this outside part. You don't wanna eat this part, dude. Then it's like you're straight up making out with it. Yeah. Mmm, <laughs> <laughs> dude. That tongue really becomes like a pate. Yeah. It's real soft, oh, super smoky. That's crazy. From here, you're gonna show me how to get into the brain. Oh my God! There you go. No! What just happened? <laughs> it's like its head just gave birth on my hand. Ooh. This is a much bigger brain than I expected. Gentlemen, it has been an immense pleasure being here in Oman with you, learning about the Omani people, the culture, the food, and finally building up to this moment, eating the brain of a lamb with you all. To that? To that. I say cheers. Thank cheers. you. Ooh, that's some creamy, smoky brain. Do you like it? No. <laughs>
<laughs> oh, you're suffering. I love mm. it. Where you go? <laughs> Is he gonna be okay? I don't know. Maybe it's his, his, his first time trying the brain. Oh. Yeah. But for me, it's very nice and tasty. I can eat one kg a day. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> if there is enough. I think he's running to the bathroom. <laughs> <laughs> Ahmed invited me to Oman with promises of internet-breaking YouTube content. He did not disappoint. Now, I'm happy to call Ahmed my bro. Beyond that, he's right. More people should visit Oman. It's hard to know a place after just a few days. The food was great. Even better, meeting the people behind the food and witnessing the twinkle of pride in their eyes as they served up Oman's best. If you are interested in coming to Oman, look up official Oman travels for tours with Ahmed. Also for you guys, if you're thinking about heading to Vietnam anytime soon, I highly suggest a company called One Trip. One Trip is the highest rated tour company in Vietnam, doing tours from north to south in all major cities, including Hanoi, Nha Trang, Da Nang, Hoi An, and Saigon. You can experience food tours, adventure tours, and more. To learn more about One Trip, check out the links in the description down below. I will see you next time. Peace. All right, man, I got a little bit of brain left for you. Do you want it? For sure. Let's yeah, go. let's go. I'm let's ready, go. definitely, right now.